Our immune system functions to protect our bodies from harmful invaders. But how exactly does it do what it does? My name is Leslie Samuel, and by the end of this video, you're gonna have a better understanding of how the immune system functions. So let's do it. The immune system is a pretty complex system that includes a number of different cell types and organs. The function is to basically block, destroy, or at least neutralize any harmful substances that can enter the body. And when we look at the immune system, we see that there are three lines of defense. These are three different mechanisms that these foreign invaders need to overcome in order to get into our bodies to cause harm. The first line of defense is the physical and chemical barriers. Then we have what's called the innate immune response, which is nonspecific, and the adaptive immune response, which is specific and more effective. Let's deal with the physical and chemical barriers first. These are things like the skin that covers your body. That's a physical barrier that pathogens have to find a way to cross in order to get into our bodies. Along with the skin, we have sweat glands that secrete sweat and sebaceous glands that secrete an oily substance. This helps to lower the pH on the surface of the skin, making it more acidic, as well as to wash away harmful stuff, making it less likely that these foreign microbes will get into our bodies and have harmful effects. Then in our mouth, we have saliva. And saliva has different enzymes in it, one of which is lysozyme. Now, lysozyme is an enzyme that will actually break down the bacterial cell walls, which is good because you're killing bacteria. But let's say something makes it past your saliva and into your stomach. Well, we have hydrochloric acid that's released in your stomach, and that acidic environment makes it harder for those harmful microbes to even survive. And then we have the mucous membrane. These are mucus layers that line our digestive and respiratory tracts. Let's say you breathe in some kind of pathogen. Well, a lot of those pathogens get trapped in the mucus and they don't get far enough inside to cause any issues. We even have nasal hairs. Some of y'all got a little more than me, <laughs> but we have nasal hairs, earwax, and those will also trap pathogens. Again, the goal here is to stop stuff from getting in. That's our first line of defense, the physical and chemical barriers. We're trying to stop foreign invaders at the point of entry. Now, obviously, some stuff is gonna get past those barriers, and we need to have some more protection on the inside. So let's move on to the second line of defense, and that is the innate immune response. This is a nonspecific response to those pathogens that manage to get past the first line of defense, and it involves a variety of specialized cells and proteins. Uh, they recognize and help to get rid of pathogens, but in a more general way. In this response, we're dealing with phagocytes that will recognize foreign pathogens, and they'll basically swallow them up using this process called phagocytosis. First, they bind the pathogen, and then they wrap their cell membranes around the pathogen to take them in. And once inside, they will destroy the pathogens. When those pathogens are destroyed, they're basically broken up into small pieces. And some of those pieces are then displayed on the surface of the phagocytes to be recognized by cytotoxic T cells, which will do their job of destroying those phagocytes with the pathogen inside of them. Now, we spoke about this a little bit in a previous video, and we'll go into even more detail in a future video, so make sure you're subscribed for when that comes out. One more thing to mention about the nonspecific innate immune response. In addition to what we spoke about with the phagocytes and the T cells, there are proteins that are part of what's called the complement system. And no, they don't go around like complementing bacteria and microbes and that kind of stuff, but these proteins will get activated. That was a dumb joke. They'll get activated. <laughs> And when that happens, they will recruit more white blood cells to the site of infection and trigger an inflammatory response which causes things like the redness and the swelling and the pain that's typical with inflammation. Really, the goal here is to flood the area with more of the immune system components that's gonna help to fight off what could potentially be a pretty bad situation. All right, let's get to the specific adaptive immune response. We're calling this specific because we're trying to eliminate specific pathogens that our bodies recognize because we were previously 
intensely exposed to them. It involves two types of white blood cells, B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, AKA B cells and T cells. Now we've spoken about these before and we'll get into a whole lot more detail in a later video, but here's the short version of how this works. B cells are part of our antibody mediated immunity. They recognize a specific antigen and then they bind to that antigen and digest that antigen. And then they present fragments of that antigen on their surfaces to be recognized by helper T cells. Those helper T cells will then trigger those B cells to mature into antibody producing B cells, AKA plasma cells. And now that we have more antibody producing cells, the antibodies can do their part in helping to kill those pathogens. This is called humoral immunity. It's the specific part of our immune system that involves antibodies. But there's also cell mediated immunity that involves the cytotoxic T cells, AKA killer T cells. These are the ones that we spoke about earlier and they will recognize an antigen that's presented on the surface of a cell, things like viruses. And once they are recognized, they will kill that virus infected host cell. So those are our three lines of defense, uh, the physical and chemical barriers, the innate immune response, and the adaptive immune response. Now, I'm going to go more in depth into the function of the T cells in the next video. So if you want to know more about that, make sure to check that video out. I'll see you over there. Peace.